I've seen a lot of things happen around this track. It's fast. Just want to make it go faster. We found out why these guys have such a crazy need for speed. <laughs> Just plain fun. It's Thunder Road. It gets your adrenaline going. All kinds of excitement here. It makes your eyes come way, way open. This is absolutely phenomenal. King of the world for that moment. You're the best for that night. But you got to take your punishment. Take that bottom nut right off, Greg. place in the world. Thunder Road is known everywhere. The greatest short track. Thunder Road is a, it's, it's just a magical place. It's gratifying that people got to understand it and they care that much about it. It's the largest spectator sport in Vermont. We thought racing was keen down there until I came to Vermont tonight. I cannot believe. It's that good little short track that's kind of tucked away in the mountains that uh, has got a ton of people in the grandstands. I've seen a lot of things from the old coupe days all the way up through the different series of changing. Now we got so many cars, it's really grown great up here. Well, you know, I've been around long enough to know the guys that made it what it is today, and there's people like Ken Squire and Humphrey Whelan, the Francis down in Florida, and Tony George, and Roger Pinsky, all are great. You know, there's 400 tracks like this all over the United States. This is a weekly deal right here with the crowd and the excitement and the, the car count and the competition on the track. It's a lot of fun, I'm hooked on it. Just love working on race We don't cars. know any better. No. <laughs> it's like an addiction. Good entertainment, and I enjoy racing, I enjoy automobiles. And... I like the competition, uh, you know, the speed. And... and when you can come out and race with the competition and all your friends and all your buddies in the area, you can have a good time. The people were the best people I knew. Yeah, you know most of the guys that race here, a lot of them are local. It's not about the cars, it's not about the drivers. Everybody's on the same page, and that's to do what's best for the fans of the grandstands. First year, and yeah, love this it? is my first year and I loved it. It was so much fun. It's exciting and there's a ton of crashes. And I used to come every Thursday night. A lot of good memories here. My family likes coming here. I grew up in Barrie and it's part of the social fabric of Central Vermont. It's the tradition of Thunder Road. I mean, 50 years of it. But it's been a great family sport for my family. I've been doing this since I was 15 years old. My father used to race. His son drives the car he owns. Oddly enough, because my wife wanted me to. It's a very good family sport. Our crew is all family. My mom's a bigger race fan than I am. Done it my whole life, don't know any better. Radio control cars, sleds, anything that I could race, I race. Goes back to when I was a little, little kid. I never grew up. You feel a lot of G's. Fastest car I don't always win. Who can go around this track in the least amount of time? I get disappointed a lot, but that's the way racing is. You have to get up on the wheel and make things happen. It's a quarter mile track, we turn it in about 13 seconds. It seems plenty fast when you're out there. I'm shaking when I come in. When you're waiting in line, you're by yourself, you have time to think, and that's when you get nervous. Once I'm out there and a couple laps go by, then you're okay. Adrenaline uh, does get, get to rolling when, when things are going your way. I've probably picked up a car on every inch of this track around here over the last 47 or 8 years. Anytime the cars go out on the racetrack, they go out behind me. With one guy who's kind of in charge. He's and the quarterback. Yes. Check the car over after we after he comes in. And a couple guys that work with the tires and one guy puts gas in. This is a monkey see, monkey it do business. It is a monkey, I was just gonna say that. Lower center of gravity doesn't make it so tippy. You're in a tractor, it's tippy. You're in a race car, slow to the ground, it's not tippy. We try to have it as low as the rules will allow without the oil pan dragging on the track. And there's a lot of geometry, a lot of engineering that goes into these cars. Those are real race cars, lots of money. Lots of uh, knowledge to run one. It's awesome! It's kind of a weekly tradition with the kids. Guys, it's fun to watch the cars. Good family entertainment, you know. It's multi-generational. These fans here, they understand. They're booing, yelling. Budweiser Hill. Bud Hill. You just never know who you're going to see here. Congressman Welch was here tonight. Senator Campbell was here tonight. The best part is the crashes. <laughs> yeah. And the winning, I'm sorry, and the winning. I get nervous all the time. Yeah. Sometimes it's terrifying. <laughs> 
can be rough. Turn four, the Widowmaker. Very exciting. Oh yeah, there's accidents ahead of you. Someone spins out in front of you and you can't stop. You end up hitting them. And Sailing off this large embankment over here. And I hit the wall very hard this spring and the car was basically destroyed. You get hit from trying to get by an accident. It's well, I've hit all kinds of wrecks. I picked them off the wall above every inch of the track around here. There'll be quite a few crashes tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Most of them will drive off. The cars are really built, built good now compared to what they used to be in the old coupe days. There's a lot of safety stuff in the cars. When you're strapped in there with a the helmet and the fire suit. For the most part, thank God, nobody gets hurt. Nobody gets hurt. In one moment, I'm going to be riding in the pace car that's going to be leading all the other cars, and we're going to be reaching speeds of 55 to 60 miles per hour. Would be to win. The goal would be to pass as many cars as you can. You know, outsmart them and outthink them and be the first one across the finish line. Winning is uh, everything's put in a, in a jar and shaken up really fast. And you get to have the trophy and the people get to come out. If I can win tonight at, at Thunder Road or win at uh, you know at Daytona, it's still fun. To finish off like this uh, is a great feeling. Touch right here. So we did Vermont proud. No way. Absolutely. We we thought North Carolina was a racing. There's no way. This is where the racing's at. Right Tiger, you got to go back home now. I can't. I can't. This is Tiger Tom Pistone out of Chicago, Illinois. 1959. He won three major Cup races, and he is the worst person I know. <laughs>